So you guys seem to enjoy my rugby referee compilations where I'm reacting as a football referee. So here is part four. If you enjoy, you know what to do. Just, you don't need me to tell you again. Let's go. Come here. My turn to speak. Now, if that was football, and I said it's my time to speak, the players would not be quiet like this. They would straight away be telling me how disrespectful I am and all this nonsense. I've got a feeling this video might feature a few more like this, that I might end up saying exactly the same thing. You speak to me like that again? And it won't be a scrum, it'll be a penalty. I'm all for chat at the right times and in the right tone. Do you understand me? Have the respect to look at me when I'm talking to you, please. Do you understand me? Yes. Thank you very much. You know I'm quite meanable. Speak to me tidy and I will listen all day. Sorry, sir. Thank you. What were you saying? Sorry. Right, so what is fantastic about this is, is firstly, it's another evidence that re rugby referees have the tools. He just said, if you don't do this, instead of instead of this punishment, it'll be an even worse punishment. The, the referees have these tools to use and to and to threaten the players with. OK, fantastic. Fantastic. And we don't have that in football. I'm sorry, we don't. Then he said, I'm trying to remember the order of what he said things. He then went and said, um, have the respect to at least look at me when I'm talking to you. Imagine if you said that to a football player. And I've done similar and they just, you know, like you're nothing. The guy then, sorry, sir. And and this still amazes me after watching all these rugby things and, and all these rugby videos. That amazes me that, the, you know, oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. It's, it's brilliant because at least, yes, he's messed up. The player's messed up. The referee's dealt with it and the player's apologised. Straight there and then, there's no gobbing off and... This is what's amazing. And then, and but th this is what I, you try and do in football, but it's never accepted. But, you know, you try and make your point and then you say, you know, you normally say, look, I'm happy to talk to you as long as it's calm and, and, and whatnot. <laughs> you won it fair and square, passed it back to your player and he's locked on. Scrum here, knock on. I quite like Ben Whitehouse, you know. I'm warming to him. <laughs> he's a dude. He's a dude. He's a dude, all right. Look, look at me when I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Show me that respect. Was his dad like that? My goodness. Now you don't have to speak, okay? It's my time. Once again. Once again, it's my time to speak. And the player's like, yep, okay. What is you? I'm almost getting the impression, I don't speak French, but I'm almost getting the impression that he's basically gone, look, grow up guys, let's shake hands, get on with the game. That's almost what I'm assuming he was saying. He probably wasn't, but by the reactions of the players, that's almost what it seemed like. So, at live, I thought you had tapped the ball. Yeah. The TMO reviewed it before the kick, which is absolutely legal. Yeah, so you, didn't, right. yeah, you didn't tap the ball. Still be up and ready, wouldn't it? Uh, I don't tap the ball. So ah, this must be. It's obviously Aussie rugby. I don't know if it's league or union, but I I do remember that you know people say, Pixie's here. Hello, Pixie. Hello, everyone. Um. What did I just sound like? Jesus. Um, I do hear how rugby league, especially in the Southern Hemisphere, is a lot of arguing back. And this is a this is an example of it. How is the referee going to deal with it? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a fair point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet you don't see that very often. The referee is, is almost proven wrong. Yeah, fair play. Yeah, my bad. So, unfortunately, 
this gentleman can't scream at me by holding and holding and holding. It's not your right to scream to me. What am I going to do? You're going to play the game. I'll referee the game, unfortunately. Sorry, sir. Game okay, with a penalty now for you against that now. Okay. Get the message over to the guys now, please. Can I just have a time? Have a time off, yes. Well, I said this on Wednesday. I love that. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of a referee who says so this is rugby, it's a gentleman's game. We have a reputation a to uphold your not scream at me. We've probably seen this one, I think. Okay, Michael, Michael, this is a penalty. When a player runs up and shouts, that's got to be a card. Oh, that peeves me off. When, when in football, how players think it's acceptable to try and get another player, you know, sent off or booked. Um, the problem is... <laughs> You don't end up then booking the players, and and I as even as m myself, who I'd like to think I'm fairly tough on players. Yeah, even I haven't. I've threatened it. I've threatened them and told them to shut up. Otherwise, they'll be in the book for trying to get the other player in the book. But never done it. Never actually done it. So maybe that's bad on me. You don't. It's not something you see, but it is against the laws of the game because it's unsporting behaviour. It's a penalty. Nick Fitz, the receiver. wanting Stay a yellow receiver. card quickly, and Wayne Barnes not happy with that. Okay, but then to, then also to say I didn't say anything is pretty dishonest of you. Okay. That that's another thing that annoys me. You know when players say you haven't dealt with something or whatnot, and it and it's something that needed a word, and that was it. And you've done, you've given them a word. You you know as as the game's playing in football because it's different. You, you all know that you can quite often run past a player and have a word at the same time whilst the match is going on. Um, and then for other players to say you haven't dealt with it, that, that's, yeah, it's a bit harsh. Lions on that front foot once again. And the turnover. Hey, 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 hey. So good at the breakdown at the moment, the Aguares. I was your honest man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number 10, quiet from you, please. Back chat from number 10. But you can do this in rugby because, like I said, the players know that, you know, that if they give it and they're warned, that is the only warning they're getting. And and that, you know, there'll be the the the, um, the 10 metre, you know, whatever rule. And there'll be, you know, you've got the you, how you can overturn a decision and change it the other direction if a player's gobbing off. You can do those things, which you can't do in football. Come here, please. John. John. Come here, please. No, 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 no. Oh, spec savers on a kit. Don't, don't, look, don't look so worried. Look. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I love it. That was a good one. The amount of times you, you call a player over who's done something wrong and you're only giving them a word, right? And they start gobbing off and, and, and you try and end up saying to them, look, it's just a word. Relax. It's just a word. I've got to be seen... I've got to be seen to be doing some something, and that's sometimes just a word. But they kick off, and you think, why are you escalating it when I'm trying to keep it at a low level? All I'm getting at the moment are players shouting, knock on, offside, tackle out the ball. Um, we're in the wrong sport for that. So go and have a word of them. Unless, because if I hear somebody shouting again, it's going to be a straight penalty, all right? Well, I know, there's a lot of them. Stay with them. The Bulls losing two in a row at home. Their pressure would have slid under the door, onto the shoulders of all the staff. Same player, the guy that kicked the ball, caught the ball. It's all good. Let's go. They should go. It would have slid under the door, onto the shoulders. Never gets old, does it, when a, when a referee gets bumped or ball lit him. Um, so something something that I probably haven't mentioned uh, with the rugby videos is so now I've been doing a lot of AFL videos and I, and I looked at um, a guy called Razor Ray who is a AFL umpire now he seems to have a bit of a character um, you know and, and, and shows he's human now some AFL fans really like it and some really hate it that an umpire referee has a personality on the pitch. 
Um, you know, and they don't, and some people don't think a referee should show a personality. They should almost be a robot. And actually, I, I completely disagree. I completely disagree. I think referees should show that they've got a character, that they're, they're human, that they are a part of the game. You know, and by having those traits, it, it almost um, shows that, yes, we can, you know, we can sometimes make mistakes, you know, and yeah, I like it that a referee has a personality and, and Nigel Owens is clearly the man for showing he's got a personality in rugby. Um, and I love it. I love it because we are a part of the game. I tell you what, I really like that kit, that white, blue and red kit. First of all with his assistant. Is it France? I assume it's France. What did you see there? Is, is it, uh, I think the reason he shoved him is because he's trying to take the ball away. All right. And he can't just run up to him and just shove him. So you, we turn that around. Yeah. So it is going to Captain's. be a reverse of the penalty. You heard that uh, it was Luke Pierce saying that yeah, the reason he shoved him was this, but it doesn't matter. Here's the problem. Previous penalty, you did exactly the same. I warned you not to do it. All right? I understand they take the ball away, but don't take the law into your own hands. I will deal with it. I'm going to reverse this penalty for discipline. So a standing captain... I love that you can do that. I love that you can do that in rugby as a referee. He reversed the penalty. Yes, the foul was there, but he reversed it because the other guy was a knobhead, basically. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's another tool that the referee can use to keep discipline on the pitch. It's brilliant. And John Barclay, but it's Ali Price who is just on the field in his frustration, and the penalty is reversed. Bloody and brilliant. And Lopez will have a, a shot at goal again. In from the side. <laughs> He's off his feet, still on the ball. Well, no, you're He's the second a man. I'm not. I'm sorry, but good, good, good does not look. This Sam may he may be amazing, but doesn't look really much like a professional rugby player. Is this a professional rugby match? And you're on your feet, either, Goody. It is Newcastle. I bet you don't. Do him for pace on the outside? No, you do him for pace on the outside. <laughs> Certain elements of pantomime about it, isn't there? <laughs> sarcasm, sarcasm. I love sarcasm as a referee. I love using it, and and it's and it's almost. I was taught. I was taught as a as a young when I was younger. There's no point in shouting at someone about something. This isn't sports related, but. Um, there's no point of shouting about something in an argument because it just doesn't get anywhere. It's much easier to win your point by by being quiet and being sarcastic sometimes because it, it gets under their skin worse than if they shout. Not necessarily related to this, but I love sarcasm as a referee, as I've said. Great again. The referee, he knows that if something goes on with that player and it and it get his his condition ends up worse, then ultimately he would be he would be responsible because he is as we as I've learned from rugby, the rugby referees are there to keep players safe. Now I like what he did because actually he's gone over to the medic guy and he's double checked, look, I'm not gonna be responsible for this. You are the one that is allowing him to play. Um, and double checking and almost triple checking there and he said look 
like I said, I'm not responsible if, if it gets worse, you know. And I think as a referee, you've got to cover your back. You've really got to cover your back, um, especially in a sport like this where your your job is to keep players safe. For the Sharks, this time J.P. Peterson. Spec savers every time. Every time. A referee... Why, why would the authorities make spec savers the sponsor of referees? We get enough comments about not being able to see things. Surely the referees can't enjoy wearing that. Especially look at that guy on the left. Look at this guy on the left of, of dealing with that person that was gobbing off again. I don't know what league it was in. I don't know if it was league union. Um, I suppose league is the one with the dreadful kit, so maybe it was league. But I wouldn't have accepted if I was in compared to the other situations. I wouldn't have accepted that the captain there gobbing off like that. He didn't want to listen, and I and I understand the referee then. Yeah, he did something good in the fact that he ended up giving a quick decision and wandering off, so he couldn't keep going on. But then it's almost allowing the back chat. <laughs> so I don't think it's a great example. Oh. I do enjoy you, Nisbo. My kids use the word double whammy. That's brilliant. It is. It's Box another up, penalty. Okay. This is this. We've got this a lot of Wayne today, haven't we? He's not any quicker. He can fall that side and obstruct the nine path. That's what we spoke about, freeing up the ball for nine. One against you, one against six, one against one. Well, he's, uh, he's just told them, get out of the way. Something the breakdown here. Uh, Bloody bright orange. What is with some of these kits? Maybe there's been a lot of collisions into the referee and they and they really know they've got to try and uh, be visible. So we just stick some high vis on. It's a situation of let me do my job and you do yours. As well as One, three. And number one. Yeah. Your players instigated this by goading them. All right, that's not the first time we've spoken. Excuse me. Excuse me. We've spoken about it. Right. You've retaliated with an open hand. I talked to the other part. Thank you. Excuse me. You struck the player. Retaliation is just as bad as initiation. Penalty is against White. Thank you. What the exact rule is. If there's no rug, there is just a. An area around the tackle on the ground, yeah. making making an offside line, and that's it. Two meters from the rock. One meters. Two one meters. meters. So if we, if we might clear someone out and get him in, then it's a rock. No. But during the tackle, that's a tackle. Right. After. Okay. After. I've never heard anything like this on a on, great, isn't it? on a rugby pitch, let alone a, an international rugby pitch. Uh, you should you should know the laws. You should, I love you. I don't ball. think 35 minutes into a <laughs> test match, you should be clarifying what's a rock and what's not. I assume this is some basic stuff that the players should know, especially at that level. Yeah, left arm up, that could be a yellow card then. Yeah, okay. It could be a yellow card, in fact. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, he might be shaking his head, but that will come as some relief. <laughs> Most definitely. It's interesting because um, in, in the top leagues especially, and, and actually trickling down, I don't know if it's the same. I expect it's... I don't know. But a lot of referees have, for example, I don't know, a yellow card in their top pocket and then a red card in their back short pocket. Or, you know, something along those lines. I literally just have it in a book and I can write their name because I've got to take their names and then I pull the right card as I, as I need. Um, especially when I don't referee with linos. It's not like it matters if they see what I'm doing. So um, it almost seems like this guy had this had both both in the same pocket, or he just for, forgot which which pockets he put the red and the yellow in. Hey, Josh, <laughs> hey. that card is almost red as JP Doyle's his cheeks right now. <laughs> <laughs> JP Doyle, can I just say? So I did a uh, JP Doyle video. I did a JP Doyle video because he's gone over to uh, Major League Rugby in America which is basically Sunday league standard. He looked so depressed, looked so depressed. 
here. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. All right, it's it's blemish. It's it's. it's Kind of uh, from his own mistake, but look at how he looks so happy. And now look at the poor guy. That card is almost red as JP <laughs> does his cheeks right now. It's taken almost six minutes for a difference of opinion. Yeah, it hasn't taken long. JP Dor threatening to replace that. JP again. Oh, a bit niggly on the floor. It's okay, it's sociable stuff. Hey, don't go down that road. Another, another, again, right? The just comparing to the other JP Doyle in the in the Major League Rugby. In this, he's stamping his his authority. Um, whereas bef- in in the in the American, he's he's almost getting fed up because he's having to say the simple stuff. This authority that get me out of this hell hole. <laughs> you want to wear a yellow jersey? Go get one, okay? <laughs> yeah. Jay, Jay, cool in. So now we're having a very clear fall for you guys. Tackler's not releasing, not getting yep. to the feet or putting the hands on the ground. Okay. okay. One against you, one against 13, one against the player there. Okay. okay. We've got to sort that out. Yeah, yeah. So that would be the message all week. Slow their ball. Scrum was starting to move. He's just got long <laughs> Do legs. Do you still think you're bound? Come on, buddy. Come on, stay in the real world. Come on. So they're taking the touch and they get the feet from their long arms. Sarcasm. One, like I said, sarcasm is brilliant, and sometimes it's a great way of shutting the player up and getting them to do as they're told, making them seem like the idiots um, for doing something stupid. Right, you two, off you go. Cool. Off you go. Well, done. straight to the point. Straight to the point. Well done, mate. Get this man back in Premiership Rugby. They know they've done wrong. You had the penalty. Listen to me. You had the penalty for not rolling away. No need for you to step in. I'm reversing the penalty against you. And next time it's going away. Brilliant. Again, that scrum goes round. Another penalty. Top when Conor Murray went over. Hey, last Saint Louis, last Saint Louis. Hey, 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 Peter, let him go. Let's gone off again a bit here. Let go, let's see. Hey, hey, let go. Peter, Peter, let go. I would not be getting stuck in there. I would not be anywhere near that. Emotions just bubbling over here at Tama. Good referee for Jake Peter. Yeah, I think he's been, he's done a great Honestly, job today in tough conditions, JP Dyle. To you start dragging people around when you have a penalty already. What do you think I'm going to do with that? No, okay, all right. I'm going to speak to their captain as well. I'm sorry, but it's a, it clearly is some some serious weird justice that's gone on here with him him being uh, basically made redundant from the Premiership rugby. Even the commentator knows how good he was. You know, a tough game, and he and even the commentator is complimenting the referee. Intervention off the right wing, real problem. That beautiful stuff. That is some serious authority. You here? That sounds like your dad. Be very careful what you're saying. Do you understand? You spoke out of turn. You know what you said. Not again, please. I'll tell you later, but don't think and say. Listening is exactly what Chris Wine is doing. Brilliant, brilliant. He he he. He gave him he gave him a warning in such a way that he should fear if he does it. He should be worried if he does it again. It was like I said. It's like your dad calling you over. Yeah, you he probably won't do it again. He's got the reed in his hands, and then he's going to be shown. I have no option. Direct shooter from the head. I need to protect the player. Head, neck. It's direct. The contact is direct. This is an incredible moment in the test match. It really is. I think that's the end of his game. Adam! Hickson, Wellham, having a discussion. James Charles has made his mind up. 
The tackle is both late and high. It's a red card. So, off, no go. doubt off, in the mind. He had his pockets in the same. In the, in the same. You could easily get the wrong one out there. The official. He needs to either have them in a book or in separate Josh, pockets. Josh, Josh, Just apologise that we, we may any uh, adverse language you may have heard on Hickson's reaction. The crowd over that side all yelling off, off, off. Uh, so this is, if you like, the technical offence. And he's giving him a yellow card for that, quite rightly. Very pointy, very kind of, you there, you there. Look at this pointing. See, I think that's too much. I and obviously this is a long time ago, but I think that's too much. Retaliation. But now, have we seen the end of it? But maybe now people would like that sort of referee. This I don't is, know. Uh, the crucial bit. And this is the man who must have thrown the punch. It's Poe, I think. And the crowd are roaring. For him to be sent off, and he has been. Galo Toe is off. See you later. I think we'll see the punch here. There he is, oh, number one. Oh. Oh, you just can't do that. Jesus. I want you two to stay there. As you pass the ball and you fall, the tackle is fair, okay? It is not late, okay? And that's it. Back you go. Back, back you go, please. You go back now. Go back. You two, when the whistle goes, I don't want you grasping like that again. It doesn't look good. It's not good. Let that be the end of it. Okay? So number eight, please, you. Not you. Fantastic memory. Some of these referees, because they, the way they do things, and there's a lot of players all in, in a small area, that's one thing, actually, I don't think is picked up on, and I don't think I've picked up on. Remembering who has done what in what order... As a football referee, sometimes we forget. Sometimes there'll be an incident and everyone disperses and you don't have a clue what number just did what. So this is a real good example of, of knowing exactly what happened in what order and, and who did what. After the whistle's gone, I don't want any more of that. Is that clear? If I just speak to you again, it'll be different. Well, I think that's the end of the video. Well, that was a long one. I hope everyone stuck around. I hope everyone stuck around for that. Um, yeah, I, this was this was interesting. We saw lots of different styles of, of of ways people talk. The referees talk to the players. You had sarcastic, you had authoritarian, you had completely other direction on on letting. You know, I think that was probably the league or Southern Hemisphere league. But um, yeah, quite a few different ways of communicating as a referee in the video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. We've got Discord link down below. Join our server. Um, now, there's there's always videos that I can't put onto YouTube that get blocked and copyrighted, which go onto my extra content, uh, which is a which is a member sort of on the Discord. Um, now, if you buy me a coffee or buy me a beer, I prefer beer. Um, link down below. You can either do a membership or one off. You will get free access to that. And also, I've got merchandise as well. So if there's anything you buy from there, you will then get access to the free stuff as well. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.